how's it going everyone welcome back now the dark web it doesn't have the most glamorous of reputations out there and that's due to illegal activities going on in there but while that's true there are also a lot of ethical uses for the dark web and that's why using browsers like tor to gain access to this network isn't considered illegal it's just that some of the activities going on in there are what's illegal that being said using the tor browser does come with a certain degree of risk and the best way you can protect yourself from these risks is by using a vpn so in this video we're going to talk about some of the ethical uses for the dark web and how you can protect yourself while using tor with a vpn and some of the best vpns to use with tor and if you're interested in any of the vpns i mentioned in this video you can just find all the links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below so as i mentioned mentioned earlier, despite its reputation, the dark web can also be used for a lot of ethical activities. A big example of this, I would say, can be seen in censorship heavy countries where blogs and online forums are heavily regulated. So journalists take it to the dark web to voice their opinions without fear of prosecution. Another use for the dark web could also be private communication. I mean, it's no secret that messaging apps can be monitored in some way, shape or form, especially in censorship heavy countries like China, India and Turkey. And that's why many use the dark web channels to securely communicate with their loved ones. Besides that, the most common use for the dark web is for whistleblowers to expose, say, their company's misconduct to protect other people from illegal activities while staying completely anonymous. But despite all these ethical practices, the dark web is still the dark web at the end of the day. And it's really important to know how it works and how you can protect yourself from malicious users. So the most common software to access the dark web is going to be the Tor browser. And the way Tor works is by sending data through an entry node passing it through several intermediate nodes and then to the website through an exit node. Each one of these nodes encrypts your data and hides your IP address, creating several layers of protection. Now that's amazing on paper, but the only issue here is that these nodes are operated by volunteers, not Tor themselves, which opens the door to many cybersecurity vulnerabilities. For example, hackers can set up a malicious exit node to intercept the data and fish for whatever that data carries, such as credentials, bank information, messages, emails, passwords, ID, all that kind of stuff. And this does not only apply to the exit node, as hackers can set up a network of malicious nodes to intercept data and decipher whatever they can at each node and then link all that info together and then figure out what you're doing online. So how do you protect yourself from these sorts of things? Well, by using a VPN. So you see the risk in using Tor is that your information is encrypted by the nodes themselves, starting from the entry node and all the way to the exit node, meaning that the original data is still there and visible at some point. By using a VPN, however, you're going to be encrypting your data even before it passes through the first node, which means that none of these nodes will have any idea what the data was before it was encrypted. Not your activity, not your IP address, and not your credentials. So this way you can put an extra layer of security as a guarantee before your data enters the Tor network. Now, I'm not saying that you're always going to be encountering malicious nodes, but honestly, you can never be too cautious when it comes to security, especially when it comes to the dark web. So which VPN should you use for this? Well, above all, you're going to need a VPN with a strict no logs policy that operates on RAM only servers so that none of your data is logged, stored or shared. So these VPNs should also have actual proof that they do uphold their policies because with the dark web, you shouldn't compromise on your security at all. And that's why I've chosen ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark as the best VPNs for the web. So all three of these have strict no logs policies and they operate on RAM only servers, but they've also undergone several audits by independent firms like Deloitte, PwC and KPMG just to prove that they're committed to these these policies and all these audits came in great standing. So as far as security goes, these three are the best out there. That being said, I didn't pick these three solely based on security. Like they're also great for several other things. Like they're all really fast and they have the ability to access any streaming service out there like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, etc. They also have plenty of obfuscated servers as well as all the necessary security features like the kill switch that severs your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server and that would prevent any leaks. Now, despite having so much in common, they still vary in what they have to offer in terms of budget and bonus features. So let me briefly talk about each so that you can pick the VPN that works best for you. So starting with ExpressVPN, this is going to be the best performing, easiest to use and most secure VPN on this list. It has the most verified no logs policies due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government had seized one of their servers in an investigation, but they found nothing. And aside from that, Express is also the fastest anyway when it comes to connecting and disconnecting from servers. Other VPNs might take several seconds 
seconds and Express does it in a second. So personally speaking, I love how fast it is. As far as servers go, Express has over 3000 servers in 105 countries. So that's plenty of locations that'll allow you to access global content. And besides that, Express is the overall best choice if you're just looking for something super easy to use. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that might not interest beginners and intermediate users. You just open the app, connect to a server, and that's about it. Now, this does mean that it doesn't have a lot of bonus features like specialty servers and MeshNet, for example, but it does have all the essentials like a kill switch, split tunneling, top of the line protocols, and plenty of servers that are optimized for all uses instead of specialty servers. It's a high performance VPN with a strong emphasis on security as well as ease of use. And I especially recommend it if you're a privacy conscious individual. So Nord, our next VPN is gonna be the fastest, most value driven VPN on this list. So when it comes to speed, Nord is the fastest out of the three thanks to its Nordlings protocol. It makes it a great option for gaming and torrenting and streaming. It has the largest list of countries because it has over 6,400 servers in 111 countries, which gives you the access to most content. Besides that, you'll get a lot of bonus features like an app kill switch on top of the conventional kill switch. You get threat protection that blocks ads and malware. You get a bunch of specialty servers like Onion over VPN, double VPN and peer to peer servers. So if you're looking for the fastest best value VPN that has a lot of bonus features and options that you don't get with Express, go with Nord. And lastly, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best budget option out of the three. Surfshark is affordable, but it doesn't sacrifice security performance to cut costs. And it actually still offers a bunch of bonus features anyway, like specialty servers, web protection, and an ad blocker. And maybe it's not as fast as Norton Express, but it's still fast and it outperforms most VPNs on the market. And on top of that, Surfshark allows you to have an unlimited number of devices on one subscription. So you can just add all your friends and family. Nord has a 10 device limit. Express has an eight device limit. So basically it's the best option if you're looking for a fast low budget VPN that gets the job done and you can add as many devices to your subscription as possible. So these are the VPNs I recommend the most when it comes to the dark web. But before I wrap up this video, let me give you some additional tips to make sure you're as secure as you can be. First off, it's really important to avoid sharing any personal information on the dark web. Instead, I recommend using pseudonyms and a temporary email address to make sure that your identity is completely anonymous. Also enabling the two factor authentication on any accounts that you create adds an extra layer of security that you're gonna really want. And remember to connect through a secure network and try to avoid public Wi-Fi whenever possible since it's a hotspot for hackers. And if you do decide to use public Wi-Fi, these VPNs will make sure that all of your data gets encrypted and protect it from the snooping eyes of those hackers and network admins. So with that, we've reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible and as well as check out reviews if you want to know more about these VPNs. Otherwise, like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.